So today we're going to be doing Steve's 30-day update video, okay? Now, the thing that's amazing about this video is Steve has been fasting for 30 days straight, okay? He took the 40-day challenge, cut 10 days off of it, <laughs> and did a 30-day challenge. But yeah, he but completed it. He completed it. So uh, I hope you guys are, are strapped in. You're ready to go. We're going we're gonna to keep this a moderate time. We're not going to go an hour and a half. All right, we're going to try to keep this around 30 minutes. We'll see, we'll see how we do. But uh, stay tuned. Steve's 30-day update coming up next. We're missing a piece of the puzzle. You start getting healthy and you just become a better person. We need to start focusing more on the individual. All right, so first, before we get started, I just wanted to, you know, kind of just thank everybody for all of their participation in not only their own health journey, but also uh, participating in helping others, especially on the Facebook group. It's been um, just amazing. I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I brought a tear to my eye the other day, just seeing like the group. I didn't cry, cry, but a tear <laughs> dripped down my eye, my face. Because it's like there's so many people on there and everybody, you know, is in a good mood. People are positive and uh, it's really helping people. It's really changing people's lives. And I appreciate everyone's participation. So I just wanted to say that. Uh, I also appreciate you guys grabbing your healthy alternative shirts. <laughs> a little shameless uh, plug. Shameless plug. You guys have been, you know, repping the shirts and everything. So thank you for all that. All right. Now, Steve. I wanted to kind of rewind a little bit because this is probably the third or, well, yeah, it's like the third or fourth video we've done. And everybody hasn't seen the very first video I know. Woo. So if you guys haven't seen Steve's first video, I would highly suggest watching that because then you'll get to see what, how, how long you've been at it. Oh, man. Um... I started in, whew, it's under two years. It was February of? February of 2017. 17, yeah. Okay. So we're going to be coming up, 2019 will be two years. Okay, so you're about a year and a half-ish. Yeah. Yeah. A year and a half in. So, so uh, that video is, is, it's in the archives, but check it out. I think it says, I started my, I think it's titled, I started my fasting journey at 350 pounds. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, but I want to go back. I want to go back to just briefly talk about what started you on this journey. Where were you uh, mentally and physically, and what inspired you to change? Wow. Um, I'll tell you what, man, Chris, you are something else, because I was not expecting that question um, to have to go back in the recesses. But uh I guess I started off just, I guess going back, man, I started off, uh, I was huge, uh, first of all. And I, I really started fasting because um, I had, was going through a, a lot um, through my personal life. And uh, mentally, I was not in the best of places, kind of dealing with a uh, relationship that was kind of shattered. And uh, I really didn't know kind of what to do. Uh, I wanted to make a change in my life, and I wanted to start getting healthy. I was very sick. Uh, I wasn't uh, in a good place mentally. I didn't love myself. I didn't like who I saw in the mirror. So, I mean, I, I you know, did what I thought. Any, you know, the right thing to do was start eating right, start going to the gym. And, you know, of course, at the end of the day, that really got me nowhere. I mean, I did drop some weight. Obviously, that's why I started at, you know, fasting at about 350, 355, I think it was. Yeah. But um, when I started my journey in total of trying to lose weight, uh, I, was, I was 375. Um, probably, you know, it would probably be a little, little more, more, but right in that area, 375. <clears throat> so uh, I got started because I wanted to change who I was and change my, you know, just my life. I wanted to look good. Uh, my reasons were not what they are now. My reasons were very vain. They, uh, you know, they, 
you know, I, I want it, I want it to look good. Uh -huh. so, uh, but of course, through time, uh, you know, you start fasting, you start, you know, going through changes, you start eating healthy, you start researching and learning the reasonings for what you're doing, then definitely become different. So uh, the reasonings for me starting originally are definitely not the same reasons now. I still want to look good. So don't, don't ever think that. No. Uh -huh. It, uh, you know, it really, it really stems into uh, longevity of life. I want to, you know, live much longer. And I don't want to be 67 years old and be one of those crippled people, you know, where, you know, they're in a home and they just, you know, they just are ready to go. So I want to, you know, want to be those, one of those guys that I, I hit 100 and I'm still trucking along, you know, I'm, I'm, I, can, I can work if I want to. Not necessarily work, but... You know, I, I can still be physical. I can still go do things. I can still drive a car. I can, you know, so I, that's, what I, that's what I plan to get to. And yeah. I know a lot of that is, you know, kind of your goal as well for the future. And, um, you know, be one of those people that really live a really long life. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my goal is to, to have full functionality until the day I decide to pass on. You know, I, I, don't, see, I don't see any evidence that shows why that is not, uh, we're not capable of being able to do that. You know, uh, I, I, don't, I don't see anywhere in any religious texts that say that we have to be old or have the signs of old aging in order to die. Uh, outside of religious texts, I'd look at, you know, historians and people who have studied uh, cultures who have longevity, longevity. I have not seen where any of these cultures it's a requirement to have wrinkles and a, and a curled spine and loss of memory in order to die. I don't, I don't see any of that. So, uh, yeah, my goal is to have full functionality until the day I die. Um, well, uh, into my hundreds. So, okay. So we're, so we're on the same page there. So, and, uh, and we're, and we're still going to be kicking and, uh, and helping people still in that time. Yeah. That's I mean, I, dude, I plan, I, <laughs> It might sound crazy, but I plan on looking this way for quite some time to come. Oh yeah, yeah. I just I want to be forever young. How 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 old? Give me a number. Uh, at least till I'm like eighty. I want to look 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 youthful. Look like I'm Ooh in my thirties. Wee. Yeah. It's the master right here talking, boys and girls. It's the master. After, and then after that, after that, you know, uh, you know, it's I can mature a little bit more and. Uh, you know, we'll have another 80 years where I look like I'm in my 40s or 50s. And then, you know, we'll just go on from there. Okay. Anyway, this ain't about me. So um, you've done you've done some 14-day fasts. You've done some 20-plus some, uh, day fasts. Mm -hmm. uh, you've even done shorter fasts, five days, you know, seven days, whatever. Uh, what inspired you to do this 30-day fast? <sighs> So if you don't remember, we've had a conversation and I told you I was never going to do a 30 day fast. <laughs> I, you've heard me say that. That and sounds like something you say. It, 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 it's definitely something I've said, 100%. So I, I said, I told myself I would never do a 30 day fast because I don't want to. 14 days was my, that was my sweet spot. You know, I was comfortable at 14. Uh, that was like my, my max number. And then I pushed it, you know, a couple times. I did 19. Then I pushed it once and got up to 21. I was like, all right, I was trying to beat John. And, uh, and John, yeah. John was at 23. Yeah. And John, he, uh, he, just kept, he just kept evading me. And uh, so one day, this was back in the, around the beginning of the year. So it was like January. And I, I started a, a, a post on the group and I said, hey, I'm doing a 30 day fast at the beginning of the year. Uh, I said, I'm giving you guys a little bit of time. I said, but now I'm about to do this 30 day fast. Let's get the new year started. And then I had the, uh, you know, then of course my, my best friend passed and it just devastated me. So, and that happened during that fasting period. So, that just completely ended that. So since January, with January, February in that area, I had no motivation to do any 30-day fasting. You know, the, uh, I started coming back and started doing, you know, my, my normal um, 7 to 14 days in that area. 
And then I, I just, I, I wrote out some goals and while I was doing a, a long fast one time and even writing in the goals in my book, 30 day fast was not in that book. It was three months worth of, fat, uh, of just fasting, liver flushes, different goals I wanted to accomplish. And, and it went to the end of August. 30 day fast was not in that plan at all. And uh, so I don't know, it, it kind of came out of nowhere. I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna do 30 days. And from there, I just, you know, I, I, I was just on a fast. And I was only three, two or three days into that fast. And I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just fast all the way to the end of, it was end of July. But then I was like, wait, well that's more than 30 days. So I was like, I'm gonna just do 30 days. Right. <laughs> I wrote it, I wrote it in my book. And it was written. The rest is history, man. The rest is history. It's it's powerful, man. When you write things down, it's it's like um it's like accountability for yourself. I, yeah. You know, it's funny. I hear people po like post on a group and stuff. They'll say, you know, I listen a lot, but I don't. I haven't really posted anything because, um, you know, they don't want to be accountable for what they say. It's like when you say, okay, I'm gonna do a seven day fast you're accountable now and there's people who can hold you accountable for it and i think writing it down has the same ability um it's a form of accountability but also it's more private so mm -hmm. it's probably a little bit easier to do than to just announce it on you know a group of 10,000 12,000 people yeah so, true that's dope man uh i'm i'm extremely proud of you and uh we're going to be we're going to be showing some pictures of steve um just so y'all can see, I'll, I'll probably put up some before and afters because uh, honestly, he sent me a picture uh, the day, I think it was the day you broke your fast or whatever. And I was blown away. Like, he, like literally it made my day seeing this picture <laughs> because it's like you, you go from, I remember, you know what I'm saying? First of all, you're smaller than I've ever known you to be. That's the first thing. Yeah. It's smaller than your goal. Your original goal, I think, was like 220 or something. My, no. Your oh. original goal for me was like 220. Oh. Mine was like 250. Okay. I said I said I want to I said I can lose over a hundred pounds. And I said, let's get to 250 and see what I'm looking like. You know, because I'm thinking, you know. My height, you know, weight. I'm like, what do other people look at? Two, like at two fifty, but everyone's different. So I'm like, two fifty. That's where I want to be at. So then I started dropping, and I think I got down to two eighty five. And then I was like, all right, Chris, we're gonna go down about, we're gonna go down about two two thirty two twenty. Right. And then you was like, nah, man, we're gonna go down about two hundred. <laughs> And then now those numbers, of course, have continue to change. Yeah. Uh, I'm slowly yeah. revealing my plan. <laughs> He's so diabolical. But yeah, so it's, I mean, it's like, it's been an incredible journey just to watch. And uh, your motivation is contagious. Obviously, there's so many people that are inspired. So let's get into some of the things you experienced on the fast. Um, I, I know you had some notes there. Is there is there anywhere you want to start in particular? Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of, uh, you know, in the beginning. Yeah, let's you start know, at the beginning. You know, where was that? Uh, what, How did you mentally, did you, did you need to mentally prepare for the fast? Did you need to physically prepare? Did you do any prep work at all? No. <laughs> I go hard, man. I go hard. I mean, you, I mean, you guys know me. I mean, you guys that have been following me from the beginning, I mean, I, you know, will tell people to prep because, you know, preparation is important, but sometimes, you know, when you get that motivation and it comes and it hits you and it's right there, right at that point, it's best to just go ahead and take advantage of it right then and there. So sometimes when you take too long, you know, I see people say, oh, I want to prep for a week, give myself a week. And it's like, okay, well, after a week, you may not have that same motivation anymore. Right. So, I, like I said, I was, I was already on, I think it was day two or something of my fast, and I was going on a 14, and then something just hit me and said, you're going to do 30 days. And then I said, okay. And that right. was it. So, I, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't 
going into this thinking I'm about to do 30 days, but something hit me, some motivation, you know, jumped up out of nowhere. And that's when I decided that I'm doing 30 days. So um, I started on June, don't mind me guys, I'm reading, so it's accurate. So I started on June 27th. And I was, uh, at that time, I was 239.8 pounds. All right. Um, what did I, what did I uh, do? I, I started off with my first week, I was doing dry fasting during the day. So I would just, you know, wake up and I would dry fast during the daytime. So most of the day. And then at night, I would, uh, I was going to the gym and I was drinking water while I was at the gym. So uh, I was just, I was definitely trying to keep the water, you know, lower while I was at the gym. I wasn't like sitting there guzzling gallons or anything during the gym because I was kind of dry fasting. So it was enough to just kind of keep me, you know, going, you know, not passing out or, uh, you know, because you're at the gym, you're sweating, you know, you're exerting yourself. So uh, it's, it's a little different, you know, um, you want to try to get yourself a little something. So I did that for about a week. And then the, then the second week, um, I stopped going to the gym because at that point, you know, I started to get tired and, um, not tired from necessarily like detox or physically tired from the fast. I was just tired cause I went to the gym like six days in a row. Right. So, so I was just tired. So whether, so I was just giving myself a, a rest or whatever. So by the time that I was ready to go back to the gym, at that point in time, um, actually, and this ties into this will tie into the rest of my story. But um, during that time, I actually had some issues with my vehicle. So once again, I don't know what it is with me and cars, but I mean, you guys that have followed me, you guys know that I, for whatever reason, just have issues with cars, sure. and um, it is I don't know. So if anybody out there wants to give me a car, and no, I'm just joking, just kidding. I mean, I, I mean, my car is decent. It just, it had some issues. So, um, so I couldn't go to the gym. Uh, so during that second week, so that kind of, that stopped me from going to the gym. Uh, I, I really uh, didn't have any, anything to write about during the second week. Um, I had no major, no major detox symptoms. I had no cravings, uh, no real issues. And that is simply, I just attest that to, that's during my normal time frame anyway. Right. So I experienced I experienced the things that I would normally experience anyway, which is, you know, you start, I started getting a little tired, um, you know, but for the most part, because I've done so much fasting, I don't have those major detox symptoms anymore, which is really good. It also tells me I'm taking care of myself to a certain point as well when I'm not fasting. So um, that was good. Week three, things changed a little bit. All right. So um, during week three, I, uh, I started to actually feel hungry. So um, th during the first two weeks, I would not feel hungry, you know, a little bit here and there. Week three, I literally started to feel like, you know how you eat the night before and then the next morning you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm hungry. Yeah. That's, that's how I started to feel at times. Like, man, I am so hungry and I don't understand why. So, I mean, it would just go through spurts. It wasn't like content, but it was just, it was something to note because it was something new. Uh, I, then I started to just feel the uh, ex extreme exhaustion just to the point where I had no energy. It was difficult for me to work. So I don't have a physical intensive job, but my job, I work, I work on the phone. So I talk all day. So as you know, talking is exhausting. Yeah. So, and, and it's different when you're having, right. So it's different when you're just having a conversation with somebody and a friend, you guys are relaxed and you're just having, a, you're talking. But then when you're working and you're having to exert energy and, and talk, it's a little different. So it, it made it very difficult for me um, at work um, because I was just so tired. Um, my, uh, the, I had the, the, uh, the yuck mouth is what I call it. Um, now something actually very interesting about that 
is that I noticed that on that started to come on about day 11, which was normal, which I expected. Um, but during week, f- I guess this is technically week four, uh, it actually started to, it actually was coming to an end. Wow. Yeah. Actually, so, Kurt, first of all, the fact that you uh, don't get it until day 11, that's, that's abnormal because I think most people get it within that first week easily. I know oh, I do. I, I used to. Right. Yeah, so, so I, no, not anymore. So when I get it, that's why I would do like 14 because by day, by, by day 14, it was getting bad. I was like, okay, I'm done. I, I couldn't go past it. Be, and, I, and I've told and I've said that. Like, yeah. if I can get rid of that issue, I could, I, I could do 40 days. Right. And, and I don't know. It, it, is the, it is, to me, it is the worst detox symptom. It, yeah. it is, I mean, because it's constant. You, it's like you can't get rid of it. Like, you know, you get a headache, the headache will go away. You know, you have nausea, the nausea will go away. You have joint pain, it'll go away. Everything comes and goes. You have hunger, it comes and goes away. That is 100% constant. And you taste it, it's there all the time. And there's, there's I've, I've tried everything. I've tried oil pulling. Um, I, didn't, I didn't, mine actually started to go away by the time I saw John's last video. Um, about the about using the floss, uh, the floss. So it was. I had never even tried it because it was actually it was going away. I was so I was floored. Uh, that's but I was like, I was like, what? So um, by by the end of the fast, I was like, I don't know if I want to stop, man. This this thing is going away now. So it actually gave me hope you know for uh, you know for the next for the next time if and when i decide to do another really long fast like that uh and and i'm actually excited to you know do another just to fast in general to see what happens yeah. you know was it going away because i was i was almost done detoxing whatever it was that was happening or was it going away just because i was moving past that stage so i don't know so um, I'm very interested to see, you know, what will happen with, with that. I mean, I know, I know that eventually that, that breath goes away one way or the other, uh, whether you're doing super long fasting or if you've just detoxed to a certain point, because it's a detox symptom and all detox yeah. symptoms go away eventually, uh, which is why, you know, you got the breatharians out there who they don't constantly have that yuck mouth going on. So, You're right. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not something that we just have to deal with, but it's just getting to that point. Right, and that, and that's what I was, and that's what got me excited because it was that last week. And I mean, I mean, really, other than that, though, I mean, I you know, just being a little bit tired, you know, once again, just from having to work, you know, uh, I would rest when I could, you know, I would sleep or just lay down all the way up until I had to get up for work. Right. You know, would, you know, get showered and then go to work, come home, and then I would just lay down and just relax. So, yeah. um, other other than other than that, man, I mean, as far as detox goes, I mean, that's it. I mean, so those are the only. That was the one thing that really stuck out to me. Right. And of course, you know, I, I had I posted in the group one one night. I had a craving for potatoes, out of nowhere, and. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I got past it, but that was, I mean, but it was, it was, it hit hard. That, that, that craving hit really hard and, and I don't know what it was, but I wanted them and I was about to have them. Almost. But I didn't. I didn't. So, almost, but I didn't. Good. You got it. Um. But yeah, I mean, but I mean, as far I mean, I, I had I had a lot of um, as as far as like benefits or things that I experienced during the fast. Uh, those were like kind of like the that was kind of how my month went. I know it kind of seems really simple, but I mean that's kind of really what it was. You know, there's normal things. You know, are just are going to happen. You know, you're going to get tired. You're going to have cravings. You know, you're going to want to eat. You know, those things of course all happen throughout the entire fast. Those are kind of the things, but those are the big things that stuck out to me. Now. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, no, you go ahead. 
Oh, no, I was going to ask, did you have any major benefits, any new benefits that you noticed? Um, so I did, which you might be reading my mind because that's what I was about to go into. Um, <laughs> so I, 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 a, lot of my, a lot of the benefits and things that I experienced, and I think that you guys kind of got to remember, and this is good that we kind of went back, I've done a lot of fasting. So a lot of those physical things that you see, a lot of those ailments, you know, where the skin starts to really clear up, things of that nature, I've, I've kind of been, I've, I've seen a lot of that change. So um, physical things, I mean, of course, I lost weight, obviously. But we'll get into that. Um, <clears throat> but one, really the things that I noticed more than anything were like internal um, my emotions, my feelings, my mind, it was a, I guess you could say more spiritual, um, I guess would be the, would be the yeah. way to explain it. Um, I actually, at some point I have it written down. I actually stopped caring about if I was losing weight. I, you know what I mean? Like, wow. yeah. I mean, and for me, obviously that's a big thing. Cause I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on this. I'm on a scale two, three times a day, and I take yeah. myself twice a day as well. So wow. um, no, no, I do that because also I like the data. So I do that to help. You know, when other people have questions and things, I understand what my body's doing, and you know, so right, I, I right, can right. Ask certain things. But I notice a an extreme calmness and peacefulness. Um, that that kind of just fell over me, and it's it's actually began. To, it's actually continued um, even up to this point. Um, so I don't, I don't really, I don't really know how to explain it. <clears throat> I'm, I, things I wrote down. Things just quieted around me. Um, so th just the world in general, I felt like the world got quiet, and. Um, I, I was able to really kind of dig deep in myself and understand my, you know, my thoughts, my own feelings in situations. What was I, you know, what was I really feeling about a situation or what was I really feeling about something that happened? And it helped me to become even more in tune, you know, just with myself and what, you know, just kind of what I want. Uh, I had a really good friend of mine. Um, she basically said that she noticed that I was extremely clear um, and extremely decisive uh, in everything that I was doing. So whether it was just having a general conversation or whether if it was me just talking about goals or whether it was talking about fasting, whatever it was, just the conversations we were having, they were, they were, they were different. Mm. And um, that, I mean, she said I was very purpose driven. So, and I, that was something I noticed as well. And I, <clears throat> I, I basically was like, well, I don't have any energy. So everything I have, everything I am doing, <laughs> I'm doing it for a purpose. Yeah. So I'm not out there wasting any energy, but this was more than that. Uh, it, this was, this was something that was, that was driven by a different part of me. And once again, all of those things I have noticed have continued uh, once again, even after the fast. So uh, that's actually really good because I didn't want to feel like I lost that or I didn't want to feel like I had, you know, changed or, or anything of that nature. So uh, I still feel those things just as strong. Um, there are, I mean, if I eat, uh, I, I still feel, you know, all those things when you first break the fast. So how can I explain it? Um, okay, so if you first, if you, when you first break a fast, usually, you know, for, I don't know, a couple days or a week, you know, after you eat for the first time, you'll feel a certain way. Um, whether you eat something good, you'll feel good. If you eat something bad, you'll feel bad. You know you ate something you shouldn't have eaten, and you know you eat some, you, you know you ate something that was really good for you. So we're about um, a week out, a little bit less than a week away, and I still feel the same things. So there's a lot of stuff that has, and that, and these are things that are different. 
So a lot of the benefits that I've experienced during this time frame are still following me, at, even mm-hmm. at, at this point, which is something that I really didn't experience before previously, yeah. other than just the physical changes. Right. You know, the, the physical changes that you obviously still see them, but a lot of the other changes, you know, they kind of fall by the wayside or you don't really think about them. But everything else at this point has still followed me, which I thought was pretty, pretty fantastic. Yeah, that's that's interesting, because um, one of the things I noticed is when we when we very first started talking after your fast, you were talking about how we had spoke previously about doing one meal a day or, or something of that nature. Uh, to just keep, you know, keep the ball rolling. Mm-hmm. And I had mentioned how that's that's the route I took after my initial long-term fasting back in the day. And it's funny how when you when you got to that point, you, you finished fasting, because initially you were like, yeah, that's not happening. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I was know, on 30 days, man. I wanted it. I was I to eat. I want to eat all day long, you know. If and I want it, if I want it, I get, I'm going to have it. That right. was, you know. Right. And and then after the fast, you're like, man, I, I feel full after a bowl of soup or I feel full after a couple of grapes. And yeah. Like, that's what I had experienced when I came off of my first round of long term fasting. And I always wondered why that wasn't the same for you or John, because John, John, I don't think John's really experienced that either. So it's interesting that now it's t- taking you to do this 30 day fast to really get that. Uh, even now, like I just came off a seven day fast and, uh, huh? No, I didn't, I didn't know you were on, I, I, I knew you were, I forgot you just finished that one. Yeah. And, and my appetite is it's, 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 it's changed. Um, today at lunchtime, I wasn't hungry. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't hungry. Um, uh, you, it's just lunch, so you and you bring a lunch, so you eat it. But like I ate half the portion; the rest is still sitting downstairs. And I think what we have to do is break habits. Like at this point in time, what your goal should be is just break habits. You know, if you're not hungry, don't just eat because it's time to eat. You know, because it's lunch time or whatever. Or like I did, just have a half portion or whatever. Um, my hunger pangs, I've, they've been really annoying me lately. After I've been doing this this kind of rapid fire fasting this summer, the hunger pains are really starting to get on my nerves. It's sort of like I'm I'm realizing how much we think about food. I'm realizing how often I actually feel hunger pains. And I'm starting to realize that it's it's like annoying to me. Yeah. So today has been great because today I haven't been hungry. And last night I didn't really eat anything. You know, so, and I'm, and I'm kind of in the, I mean, I feel like, man, it's time to just, I guess I should just roll with the flow, go with the flow. Feel like you just should eat just for no reason, but you're not hungry. Well, no, I'm saying like, I'm, I feel like I should just keep like going like this. Oh, I, go. Just go. I got you. It feels natural. So I just, I feel like when your eating habits start changing, it's time to go with the flow, man. Like that's, I mean. There's no reason to fight against it. Now, obviously, I want to I want to gain some weight back because I'm the smallest I've ever been in my existence. <laughs> so uh, I want to gain some weight back, but I'm not in a rush. And, uh, you know, I still got some more. I got some more uh, fasting and stuff to do. Um, one exciting thing is I'm working on my ice cream. I'll probably be trying the first recipe this weekend sometime. Ice cream. Got, yeah, I got all the ingredients in, and I'm going to be developing an alkaline ice cream. Oh. It'll, it'll be 100% uh, what I call a guilt-free treat. So it means you can eat it every day, all day, without, you know, worrying about any negative effects. Truly guilt-free. Truly guilt-free snacks and treats. Hey, you know what? That's really important because it's not really meals, it's snacks. Yeah. That gets people. I, I mean, because, you know, you'll have people that will sit there and they'll, you know, and I'm guilty of it as well, you know, will sit there and prepare a great meal and then eat and then not be hungry. And then just be like, man, I just want something. Yep, snacks. I want something. 
And then that's when they go and they start getting in the pantry. You know, they start getting those chips. They start, you know, getting things that they shouldn't, you know, be getting. Once again, I'm guilty as well of certain things. You know, I have my treats that I like that I shouldn't have. But um, so that's, that's, that's really important, man. You know, and it's, it's good to have those things on hand as well. Yeah. And ice cream's great. You freeze it. It's just, it's just there. It's ready. It's there. So I'm excited, man. Uh, I'll be that's working on it. And I'll be releasing it as soon as this. Patreon's going to get the recipe first. Uh, but as soon as I, as I get, when I perfect it, then the rest of the group will get it. And, and that'll be exciting. Oh, well, that's good. I'm a Patreon, so. Yep, yep. So, um, what do you think, man? What, what do you got going on uh, for the rest of the summer? Uh, do you plan on doing some, another long-term fast? How, well, first, how much weight did you end up losing on this? Oh, yeah, man. See, that's what I'm saying, man. I just, I completely just not even thinking about weight loss, man. But I know y'all guys want to know that. So um, not just weight. Let me tell you some inches, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I, I shrank, guys. I shrank a lot. I shrank a lot. And, um, but I, I ended up losing, um, I don't know if you want to do the math on it for me. Uh, and I didn't write it down, but I got my, I got down to 212.2. It was 27 pounds. 27 pounds. Ooh. So you lost, you lost 27 pounds in 30 days, which is right on par with what you should be losing. Yeah. And I, I was very happy about that. Um, my goal, honestly, my goal was to get to 210. I wanted to get, I wanted to get two. 209.8. I wanted to get I wanted to get in the single digits. Um, but I but I wanted to get to 210. But you know, you can't listen, you can't control the body. It does whatever it wants to do. And um it made up for it because I I'm when I say I lost a lot of inches, I lost a lot of inches, man. Um, how many inches did you lose? So I lost um well, I mean I it was it was six inches total on my in my chest and my stomach. So those are those are the two those are the two important numbers. Okay. So it was six inches total in my chest and my stomach. Um, it was two point five in the chest and three point five around my stomach. Okay. So though, yes, and and those and those are my hardest two places to lose it. Right. Right. So though that was extremely uh, good for me. Yeah. To, to be able to lose those um, that amount of inches in those areas because, once again, they were the hardest. So um, one of the things that was most beneficial is that, you know, because I, I, I would hit 14 days or whatever, and I'd get to a really close point, and I'd stop. So going past that point um, really helped. And, uh, I mean, I had multiple times you know, where I hit, you know, where I, I didn't lose any weight. You know, there were three stretches – um, where I went three to four days with no weight loss, none. And, uh, and like I said, you guys know I'm anal. So, uh, but then, you know, on that third or fourth day, then I'd, I'd take myself and I'd lose inches. But I'd take myself daily. And sometimes it would be nothing, no weight, nothing. And then the one time I gained weight. Right. Towards, towards, the, towards the end, I told you, I told you and I told John, I, I gained, was it three pounds? Yeah, two or three pounds. Out of nowhere, no idea, you know, but so I, I tell you guys this because this happens to people and we talk, they talk about it on the Facebook group all the time and it happens. You know, it's, it's going to happen. The body, the body is miraculous. I, I didn't change anything. You know, I wasn't doing anything crazy. I, it just, I just woke up and boom. And of course I was very upset. <laughs> I was very, I was very upset. Yeah. Um, because but I was very reason, close. Man, because the body knows best. The problem is, is that we try to plan things because we have these goals. The goal should just be, okay, I'm going to fast for 30 days. That should be the only goal. Everything else, just let your body do what it does because trying to force your body to lose. Man, I had, I had a girl ask me if it's possible to lose 100 pounds in two months. And I said, yeah, it's possible. Possible. It's, that's, I mean, that's extreme in the sense that in order <laughs> I'm to- sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You said, you said it's it, extreme? It's, 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 in, it's extreme in order 
uh, <laughs> in the sense that um, you have to pretty much fast straight. Number one, you're going to be doing a, a you know two months straight fast, and you've got oh, to. Oh, 100. percent There's no breaks. Right. There's yeah. no breaks. Plus, you've got to put dry fasting in there. And that's the only that's the only way that you're going to be able to do that. So that's going to be extreme, especially for someone who's never fasted and has not prepped for dry fasting. Mm. So it's not something I would recommend. And why? It's like if you if you're 100 pounds overweight, you've probably been that way for a couple of years. So why all of a sudden now do you have to lose 100 pounds in two months? I you don't. I don't see the point. You know, uh, even if you're even if your life is on the line. You can just literally start fasting and you will start gaining your life back that quick. You don't have to drop the 100. If your doctor said, oh, you got to drop 100 pounds uh, in two months or you're going to die, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> you well, know? Like, I, will, I will say this. No, you're correct. But I'll say this. And the only time that they're going to say something like that, I mean, you got to be like grossly overweight. They're never you know, lose 100 pounds in, in two months. They're going to prove they're going to tell you to get surgery. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, they're gonna tell you to get, bro. They're gonna tell you to get liposuction, not even, not even the, uh, the, you know, the, the gastric. They're gonna tell you just, just it needs to come off right now. That that would be the only way, you know. And I, <laughs> I say that, and you know, we'll talk about we're fasting and the numbers that we see every day. Um, well, there's a guy, you know, there's a guy in the group right now who's been fasting. I think he's on day eleven. Deontay. And um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I think his name is Deonta. And he's doing great. He's lost over 40 pounds in like 11 days. Yeah. He's ro- I think um, he started off at 550 or something like that. I think it was over 600. Was it? Some, yeah. I, I think he was almost 600. He's not, yeah. He was he's almost he's, 600. But. He's almost, yeah. I, he might have been over, right over it or right at 600. He's motivating so, so many people. Oh my God. He does these live streams and I look at them like later because you know, always, I'm always at work when, I, when they pop up and there's just 600 likes on it, 200 comments. I'm like, dude, you, you're, you're doing it, man. Keep, doing I, it. Keep, going, keep going, keep going, keep sharing because people are like, if this guy can go out here and do this, so can I. Yep. You know what I mean? And people love to see those stories. I mean, there's so many people that are like, well, yes, yeah, Stephen, you were, you were almost 400 pounds, but you didn't look that up. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I mean, okay, whatever. But, I mean, people enjoy w- watching what he's doing, where he's starting, and they are intently paying attention to his journey. And I am as well. We are. So, um, very intently paying attention. So, my brother, if you watch this, <laughs> we're paying attention, whether you know it or not. He knows. So, he, knows. He, he knows. So, so Steve, what's your, what's your plan uh, for the rest of the summer? What, what, where, where's your mind right now? Have you com- I mean, I know you say you want to look good. What do you got going on? Well, sir, let's go to my handy dinner. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just joking. This page is empty. I'm just joking, guys. Um, no, it's in, my, it's in my other book. But... Uh, as of right now, uh, I am. Um, I was supposed to be. I was supposed to be uh, doing a flush, but um, I am not this week. So I'm not going to set myself back. Uh, I've already told myself starting Monday, I'm going to go ahead and start another fast. People are probably like, "Dude, what? You just did 30 days and you about to do another fast?" Guys, I don't know. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. These goals, they just, they just keep popping up. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I really, I really want to um, make sure that you know, my goal is really to be under two hundred um, by the time I come down there in August, and um, I, I know that I can do it. So I probably I have one thing planned for this month. Uh, it's my daughter's birthday. So, um, other than that, though, I really don't have anything else planned. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a 30-day fast, but I'll probably end up doing somewhere, uh, if, if, like, you know, at least a 14, um, after her birthday. Her birthday's on the 10th. So, right after her birthday, it'll be at least a 14, but 
do not be surprised if I just go ahead and fast all the way up until I come to Texas. So it'll be like from the 10th until the, it'll be close to 20 days. I fly on the 30th. It's a Thursday. So it'll be like 19, 17, 18, 19 days. And then I mean, I'm fasting this week as well. So starting Monday, so I'll fast this week. Uh, then I'm going out of town for her birthday. And then I'll be fasting for uh, like 19 days until I get to okay. Texas. Right. So, so that's, that's it, man. That's the plan. And then, of course, it is going to continue, you know, uh, after that point. But I, like I said, that goes up until August, the end of August. So um, as soon as I, you know, come out to Texas here at the end of the month, um, sit down, we'll probably reevaluate some plans on camera and, um, you know, and, and kind of just go from there. But fasting. Well, that's, I mean, that's that's good, man. You know, obviously, I, I've, I've told you a hundred times, I'm proud of you, and uh, just keep it up, man. Just you're you're you know, it's to the point now where family members, I notice family members are like, "Oh, Steve, like, whoa, like you look you look crazy. Like, how did this happen?" I'm sure for them, it happened overnight. You know, and, for, yeah, if it it felt like overnight for them. But trust me, it has not been overnight. Yeah, but it's uh, it's been it's been dope, man. Uh, I think we've uh, we've gone over enough. We'll probably wrap this one up. Uh, I'm sure it's probably over an hour. <laughs> we just I don't know what we just can't, man. Listen, it's man, we'll cut, we'll, snip, we'll, snip, we'll snip a few parts, man. You know, I'll snip a little sure, bit. Sure, did a little bit for them, man. Now, but they love this stuff, man. It's a lot of good information. So you know, I, I and I I actually really enjoyed doing this. Because I felt like I had something a little different to share because, you know, it may, may not be most popular because, you know, people want to hear the story, the numbers, you know. But, man, I'm telling you, man, what I'm, the things that I felt and the things that I went through, these are things that are going to help. They, dude, my, I, just real quick, and we'll <laughs> wrap this up. But this, during this 30-day fast, I was able to um, extremely focus on other things. Um, my credit, for example, I told you guys, and like two videos ago, I was working on my credit. My, I just saw my credit jump like 60 points. You know what I mean? Right. So they're, they're, it, this, this has given me the ability to, you know, put energy in other places. And once again, you've heard me say this before, you just keep fasting in the background. And, um, and it's really helped me to maneuver a lot of different things because, I mean, you know I have a lot of coming up here. Um, you know, I got my car situation taken care of. Yeah. You know, I was able to do that mentally in a breeze. You know, uh, I mean, there are certain things that bothered me, but not this was the easiest time other than any other time. Um, I picked up a new, uh, picked up something new, man. I taught, I, I, mean, I, I, I mean, everyone knows how to use chopsticks, but... I decided I'm going to try to really efficiently try learn to use chopsticks. That's an so, interesting little hobby you got. Listen, listen. You do 30 days and see if you don't find some things. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But people ask me all the time, like, Stephen, what do you do? What do you do? I, I don't know. I, I bought me a little, I bought me a box. Look, I love this thing, man. It's nice. I have some nice chopsticks here, man. Um, you know, we might be giving you guys a clip of me just, you know, using these things, you know, but... You know, I'm just learning, just teaching myself, you know, just. Developing new skills, man. You got all this extra time. You got extra money. And, uh, yeah. You know, just that. Little, little things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just so y'all know, Steve has been dropping little videos in Patreon. Uh, so for those who, you know, haven't checked it out yet, Steve will drop little nuggets in there every once in a while to spice things up and, uh, you know, give you a little bit more bang for your buck. A little something, uh, something, something, yeah. you know? So for those of y'all who, you know, like, like seeing Steve's videos and stuff like that, there is a little bit more footage uh, over on the Patreon. So check out the Patreon account. Ooh. <laughs> hey, hey, man, are we going to give him a little, man, we give him a little taste, man. We just give him a little snippet of maybe. What? Give him a little snippet of the last video, man. The last one I just made and put in there. Guys, uh, this is one thing that uh, during my 30 days I picked up. So I started uh, trying to teach myself how to use chopsticks. Now, I mean, I know how the basics, like everyone else, 
but I wanted to really try to, you know, get myself a little better. So, um, but here we go. Oh man, wow. That is the, uh, it's like too sweet. It's very tart. And my stomach is literally already rumbling. No, but seriously, man, this, this has been fantastic, man. And I really appreciate you guys, um, you know, following along. Uh, I appreciate all the love on the Facebook group. And if you guys know me, you know, I'll, I'll, I, get, I get busy sometimes. But when I really get in-depth in a fasting, you'll see me kind of fall back a little bit. And that's just honestly because I'm just really in, I'm being selfish with my own time. And I'm just working on me so I can, you know, be a better person. And, um, you know, and that's, what, that's, what I, that's what I do. So ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't don't ever don't ever be afraid to to take that for yourself, whether it's your friends, family, coworkers, whatever. Man, take that time. Be selfish. You know, there's one thing you can't ever get back is time. We can make time a little longer though. Start doing this fast though. But yeah, man, I appreciate you guys. You know? Hey, you missed the live stream. I was at, I, I was at work. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Livestream. It was pretty it was hot. Two, two hours. It was pretty hot, man. All right, guys. So, so John's gonna be on the next live stream because he he got a little taste. He wants to get on the next live stream. So, just so y'all know, um, I'm gonna be doing the next live stream on on a Wednesday. Probably not the this Wednesday, but maybe the following Wednesday. So, mid mid month. Uh, I'll be announcing it, you know, everybody will know ahead of time, but I'm going to do Wednesday and I'm going to do it a, a different time of the day just to give different people an opportunity to be, to participate. Uh, hey man, when I come, I want to get on a live stream, man. When Steve comes, well, I was just about to say that, we'll do a special live stream and uh, we'll have me, John, and Steve on the live stream. That'll be huge. Yeah. So you guys can be looking out for that. All right, any final words? Um, man, I love you guys, man. I, I just, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, I am just in a great mood. Like, literally, just talking to you guys. Like, I've been emotional this whole time. Like, my eyes have been watering at certain points. I don't know. This, this whole, this, this, this 30 days has really done a lot. Um, and, uh, I mean, you'll, you guys will see the pictures that we posted. You'll see how I physically changed. So, you know, some people want to see that. And I think that the people that, you know, want to change inside, Really gonna enjoy this, but I just I love you guys. That's all I got, man. That's awesome. I love you guys too. And uh yeah, it's it's that 30 day fast, man. It's it's way beyond weight. Like yeah, it's way beyond the weight. And uh, that's that's just you know, I just want you guys to keep that in the back of your mind. You might not be there yet, but you'll get there. I mean, shoot, Steve's Steve is he's big on weight, and for him to be saying what he's saying, that means a lot. <laughs> Right, it's like blasphemy, man. Almost. So I right. hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power, and we will check you guys out next time. Peace.